Hi friends, welcome back to the channel SciTechCore. In today's video, to talk about the battery rating details about the iQOO 7 device after the recent software update. So during this time of demonstration, I'm trying to use a single SIM card in this phone and I did not charge the device for about close to one and a half day. Yes, I did not charge at all this iQOO 7 device. I'll try to show you what is the screen on time and what is the type of usage I'll try to explain in this entire video. So first thing is that this is the latest version which I'm trying to run, which is a 1.70.12, as you can see. And during this process of demonstration, I'm trying to use a maximum refresh rate, which is 120 hours refresh rate, exactly. And let me try to show you the usage and the screen on time, how much it is. The two days, as you can see, friends. So last charge was two days ago. And right now the screen on time is about five hours and 11 minutes of time. So this is a kind of close to medium kind of usage only. So two days of battery backup I did get with the five hours of screen on time. And right now the battery percentage is about nine percentage. And most of the time I did use the 4G plus connectivity in this iQOO 7 device. In terms of the connection, 4G plus, most of the time, yes. This iQOO 7 device, overall the five hours, I think it should be kind of really decent score. If I can get this phone maybe close to one and a half day, I, I might get the screen on time kind of close to six to seven hours of screen on time as well. But most of the battery got drained during the standby mode as well, during the overnight testing. That is the reason. But overall, you can definitely expect the minimum five hours. So minimum five hours skin on time in the IQ sound device, and it can go up to seven hours as well, depending on the type of usage you use. But in my experience, so these are the usage which I got for the two days, for the two days with the five hours of skin on time, as you can see, friends, exactly. And let me just show you the battery usage of it is. So this is, this is the usage uh, during this time of demonstration. And I did use the uh, Android benchmark application and CPU dotting application, couple of other applications as well during the process of demonstration, Jensen Impact game and some other games as well. So I did do plenty of uh, gaming reviews on this IQ7 device after the software update. So that is the reason I did mention it's kind of medium kind of usage. So not any kind of major games, only little bit kind of gameplay, only small gameplay only. So that's it friends, thank you for watching this video and for more details, let, don't forget to check the playlist for in case if you have any other doubts on the IQ sound device. And it's a complete review using the 4G data connection using the 120 hz refresh rate after the recent software update. So thank you for watching, see you in the next video friends, only stay tuned. Meanwhile, signing off, bye.